Hey folks, Revolutionary Brewer here, doing something a little different today. Got no new uh, homebrew kits to review, so we're going to go back to shaving. Today we're going to revisit shaving with a double-edged safety razor. So, I've already pre-mixed pre my lather up and we're just going to uh, get ready for a shave. So the first step uh, when you're doing a wet shave is to actually, I just got out of the shower, so my whiskers are prepared, they've already been softened up, uh, face is wet. Got a good lather going and you want to what you want to do is really work the lather in on your face uh, this exfoliates your skin uh, gets rid of any particles and all that and uh, we're going to be set for pass one today we're going to be shaving with the 1956 uh, gillette rocket so this razor is like uh, i don't know 55 years old or something uh, these are quality quality look well, still works like the day it came off the assembly line unbelievable so, just to explain what we're doing here, we're going for our first pass, and what this means is we're just, it's just going up and down. Uh, what we're doing, the whole goal here is to reduce the amount of whiskers. It's not to get rid of everything. Uh, with this um, wet shaving, it's a little bit different than, uh, you know, your modern day shaving with a Bic or a Gillette. So what we're doing we're just keeping a very steady hand. We cut on an angle. Um, takes a little bit of practice to get used to it. But uh, what we're doing is we're actually, we're just letting the weight of the razor cut. We're not putting any pressure at all. And you can hear it cutting here. And that's gonna produce the best results. If you start putting pressure, what's gonna happen is you're going to start getting irritation and you're going to cut yourself. So just let the razor do the work. And this is a heavy razor, so there's no problem there. There's a lot of weight to this. And you can just, you can hear the, hear the razor taking care of the uh, whiskers. Uh, this is a lot better way to shave than with those Bic or the Mach 7s or whatever. And over time, you actually save a lot of money. I got 50 good quality razor blades. They're the Persona Red Packs and they cost me uh, 10 bucks for 50, so that'll last me a year. Like I said, they're top quality, top notch stuff. The one difficulty to getting started with this uh, wet shaving, your initial razor is going to cost you about, uh, if you buy one new, about $50 or so. So it's a little expensive to get started. But I mean, you can get the blades, like I said, pretty cheap. So over time it's going to work out. So there is pass one. What we want to do is just a quick rinse. And then we're going to go ahead and relather for pass two. So we started reducing the beard. This is, it's a pretty good shave so far. But now what we want to do is really get the fine touches on it. Really get down to work here. So we're going to do uh, the second pass. And uh, we're going to go actually against the grain here side to side. Again, same principle. We're just letting the blade do the cutting. You can hear it's doing its job. But these products are amazing. This, uh, the lather is made with, uh, An Italian shaving cream is called Porasso, and it's very, it's very cool. It's uh, minty. It's got eucalyptus in it. And it, uh, it just smells terrific. It's a great, uh, it's a great product. You can get it at Shoppers Drug Mart in Canada. Or if you have a, a shave, a shave shop in your area. Fairly recent.
reasonably priced too. I think it's like nine bucks a tool, but that'll last you half a year at least. So I mean, you're paying a little bit more, but your dollar goes a lot further with this uh, wet shaving. And you can hear it's still doing its job, this uh, 1956 Gillette. And as you can see, no irritation, nothing, it's just a real treat. So we're just going to wrap up the second pass. So right now, this is already a passable shave. I'm just going to give one more quick rinse. Right now, this is a passable shave. It's nice and smooth. But I like to finish it up. I like to get it like baby smooth. So what we're going to do is a little bit of buffing. It's just more like the detailing part of the shave. Like I said, this takes a little longer than your traditional shave with like a big razor or something. But this is much better. Better for your skin. You know, it's a more enjoyable experience. This one just... A little bit of buffing motion just to clean up a couple little rough spots. Again, left the ring. Just use the uh, weighted eraser. Just a little, little buffing motion. That's all. And everyone's different. They'll have little spots that are a little more difficult than others to get into. You'll figure out what they are. Look at this. Unbelievable. Just an unbelievable shave. It's hard to believe that this razor is 55 years old. There we go. Next, always my most sensitive area. And look, there we go. We're done. All that is under, must be about 10 minutes, I'm guessing. Then finish it off with a little bit of your favorite aftershave brute. That's my favorite. That's some of the brute uh, lotion. That's really good for your face. An old standard, the old spice. I mean, different lotions, whatever, you're, whatever you prefer. So yeah, just the final clean up here. And look at that, a terrific, look how smooth that is, a terrific shave. So folks, if you're thinking about getting into it, uh, have any questions, feel free to email me. I uh, highly recommend this uh, shaving with a double-edged safety razor. Great thing to get into. Uh, we'll see you next time. Uh, keep on brewing. Cheers.